What is up everyone on YouTube? I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I got a summer essentials video slash pickups. Um, I sold a bunch of stuff in my wardrobe, bought a bunch of new stuff, all kind of for the summer. This video is gonna be pickups from me with a little bit of summer essentials sprinkled in. Trevor has prepared a presentation. Fernando has been gearing up for this video. Also, I'm gonna show you guys my short collection. Buckle in. First item is 11 by BBS. This is a pair of their cotton washed trousers. These are drop crotch cotton pants. They feature hidden zipper pocket, normal pocket, paneling on the back, uh, as well as a very sizable crotch. They have this cool thick flap here, but when I got them, they actually had an extra panel of fabric right here. They were completely diaper mode, couldn't wear them, so I took them to a tailor, had it removed, and now they kind of look like a jock strap. Boris Bidborn Sabbery. His mainline clothing is very avant-garde, but 11 is his diffusion label and it's a lot of technical kind of more wearable stuff and this is a pair of pants that I like moving along we have a pair of shorts from Prada these are the Prada zip convertible pants there was a pair of nylon Prada shorts on a website discounted for $150 they're still there I'll link them below every time I tried to check out with them it wouldn't let me so I ended up just going down this rabbit hole of Prada shorts and I found an Amazon listing for these these are from fall winter 19 I believe basically the design is they have a zipper down the side this top part Part of it gives you access to the pocket and this bottom part just comes open and then there's another panel on the bottom but it has this little tightening thing on it so if you tighten it this cord kind of creates a flare on the side of the short my only critique of these shorts is that they have no belt loops or waist tightening mechanism and um they're just kind of long, but the quality is really nice. So I'm happy with them. Next up, we have another pair of shorts. This is a pair of shorts from General Research. This is their fishing pocket short. They have just a shit ton of pockets on them. As you can see, you could put like some tackle in here. You could put your fishing lures. You could put your whole rod in the back pocket. Yeah, they essentially have a fanny pack on the back. This top part unzips and there's a main compartment. Yeah, this is a flap. So there's more pockets underneath. You could just store a lot of stuff in these shorts. They have an exposed zipper fly and they just kind of have a very traditional fit and they're just not entirely that comfortable but they are a really cool design they're over 20 years old general research let's switch it up to another category I'm gonna show you this hoodie from online ceramics hoodies in summer do they go together yes myself personally I was looking for a brown hoodie and I found this online ceramics is kind of like a psychedelic Grateful Dead type brand they do a ton of different designs they do limited runs this one has this Halloween boy here with a little hat on the lantern holding a skull whose tongue is connected to a witch playing the recording it says, let it be known that Satan was an acid head. I think it'll look better after a couple washes and wears. I'm happy to finally have something from online ceramics. But you know, that's not even an essential. But what is an essential is crewnecks. They're kind of a no-brainer, but in my opinion, accumulating a lot of crewnecks is never a bad idea. Especially in the summer, they're just really easy to throw on at night or in the car. So this one I'm wearing is actually a new one. It's from the 70s or 60s, so it has this really vintage fit to it. And the lettering is actually these pieces of fabric sewn on. This is my favorite crew neck. This is another one I got, North Hob Warriors. It's kind of comfortable. This other Russell crew neck that's kind of just this oatmeal color. Next up, we have a item from Balenciaga. This is the Balenciaga swing jacket. I had this a couple years ago. I believe it came out in 2016. It's just a heavyweight denim jacket with a very wide fit and then darting on the chest that kind of gives it the swing shape. This is just a classic piece to me. You know, I just really like it. Okay, so I'm kind of failing at showing some essentials. So I think it's time to cut to the experts. Are you very proud of this moment in your career. Essentials? Okay, so basically why yeah, yeah. So I'm whoa. <laughs> Big Stanley Kubrick guy. Is it a drip? It really has a, a vision. The full <laughs> LA apparel. This hoodie's a nice color, dude. Is this one of your summer essentials? Uh, I mean, it can be. It's my, it's my friend's my friend's hoodie. This is a Trevor must buy. No. I understand that you prepared like a list or a sort of presentation. First summer essential is like light outerwear that's open. The Mark Jacobs hoodie. And then we got a needles flannel. All right. Okay. Need some nice summer sneakers. These are the shoes that I wear like every day. Vans vault slip on. Funny story about this shoe. This is actually how Trevor met the shoe, the shoe surgeon. Not true. You showed a hoodie flannel. Showed light outerwear. You gotta have some eyewear. These are Aquila. Shots out. I'm ready to join the frat. Ready to pledge. <laughs> Rush them, pledge. It's not that I would know that. Alright, so I just got a bunch of hats. Does that say lit? No, it says FTC. <laughs> Never know what about this. It's Alzheimer's, Escape Rand. says, have you pre-ordered your Star Trek? Very rare. Very sweet. Bronze. Da hell da. Whoa, Rick Owen. No way. I was gonna wear these uh, while mudding. You bought these. 
No. Did the tractor? <laughs> the reason why I maybe just dumped it on. Okay, well the reason why I was can I see him on foot. No, because they Please. don't fit me. They're not Please. my size. What size is that? Uh, Probably size me. seven. The reason why I was opening this box, this next summer essential is a tote bag. Brick tote bag. I also have. This tote bag. I heard some sketchy stuff about the owner. What happened? What'd you hear? All right. Okay, Trevor, I only got a minute of footage so left. Got so just bag. showing a bunch of tote bags. I, I like to wear the heroin and the meth. Wait. These are Trevor Summer Centers on the screen listed in order. All right, well, since you just, since you just <laughs> use his last 30 seconds to plug all my stuff. I almost forgot to show you one of my favorite pickups, and that is this pair of Kiko Kostadinov pants from his newest season. I added this belt. They basically have a big panel on the front, a big panel on the back, thinner panels, and then these circle panels are actually pockets. They're made of a synthetic wool cotton. Feel very sheen. They have a straight leg. Kiko makes it's really like advanced, futuristic clothing. A lot of his pants, these included, are very, very wide. I'm happy with them. A little big, but overall, good pants. We got the next item which is a pair of Ufos. Ufos is an orthopedic sandal brand. They have a collaboration pair with the soloist. The only thing that makes these soloists is it says, hello, I am the soloist on this one. These sandals are insanely comfortable. Maybe you guys don't think these look the best. I think they do. Sandals, summertime. Summertime Essentials. Next up, I might as well show you guys some vintage tees. Vintage tees are always an essential any time of the year, summer especially. So this first one is a Green Stars blank, 1999 Health Awareness Week. Got some guys operating on it. This other one from a Russian tourist center. Got a nice Got a palm tree on it. Snowmobile will get you through times without sex. Much better than sex. We'll get you through times without a snowmobile. Oh, another shirt that I'll show you, but it's a lawyer shirt. Harrison Harris Lawyers. It's a Hanes beefy. It's my favorite shirt I have, just because of the fit. If you guys are gonna get vintage tees, I 100% would recommend Hanes Beefy. Anyways, uh, next up we got some miscellaneous Yarbo. This is a pair of Arcteric AR number pants. I forget the numbers. They're just a Gore-Tex pant with waterproof zips down both legs, but they're just really loud. Just way too loud, but they're, they are well made and they're they're a cool design. The leg has a nice flare on it too. This other pair of pants is from Elite. You know, they got a cool waist and tightening mechanism. The fabric is whatever. These are size XL. I just don't really want to show these because I'm kind of disappointed in the quality. I think I'm going to cut to Fernando because he has quite a number of summer essentials that he recently got, so let's cut to that. I've been waiting three months for this. Got a weedy duffel bag. Mm, of course, mm -hmm. but we got some Dior denim claw marks and then the cords. We got a vintage hood. It's like a capital hoodie, but it's vintage. A quarter zip, fader, is a T. Vintage Russell, Dior cummerbunds, faded black, black waist. So there's like a black on black pair. This one's like the little faded black denim. Good length, you know? Vintage. World Trade Center, beefy T. Hog Wild with Elvis. I'm very familiar with what that is. Work jacket. Use Trevor's Lightwear Autowear tip and you'll get at least 10 compliments. Honestly, a lot of summer essentials in this pile. Yeah, didn't see you there. Just trying out my new Cordovan weedy boots. This is my summer essential boot. What is this made out of? Cordo- Cord- co uh. Shiny? And then it goes into Sweet. suede. Yeah, at first I hated them because they're super rigid, but they break in super well. Probably won't ever need another pair of boots. So I got the Multime Grail. Um, it just kind of sits there. For summer, you're gonna need a, you know, a Raph hoodie, Dior jeans, and horse leather on the toe. So this is my summer outfit. Trevor, these are Fernando's hand-selected unsound rags for you. Is this even Not vintage? For men only, in response to the growing number of men who are living in quiet desperation, struggling to maintain their sexual issues. Okay, next one. Saudi Arabia. This one's funny. Extra, extra special aunt of triplets. <laughs> kind of weird. Y'all be selling anything now. Oh God. What, it's like, it's a, like a, <laughs> what it is? Bro. <laughs> He's ever some toilet paper. Mm -hmm. All vintage seats have that. A wheelbarrow. No, look at the back. That's exactly why I bought it. My parents think I'm in college. <laughs> Chemists have solutions. Eh? I don't get it. Laser Le Bon. <clears throat> I feel like out of all these shirts, one of them you have to like. I probably would cop the Saudi Arabia shirt. I'm just keep this shit. Thank you, Don Sound Rags, for another successful business deal. Damn. But do you like this shirt? Uh, it's a little bit long. I would buy it on unsoundrags.com. Use my code. 
So it's time to get into my short collection. These are all the shorts that I wear. I'm gonna say the pros and cons of each and just kind of like the wearability of them. So first up, we'll start it off super simple. This is a pair of LA Apparel Harry shorts. These will run you 40 to $60. They're made of a premium heavyweight jersey cotton, elastic waist, they have side pockets, a back pocket, and uh, a pretty good fit with a good rise. Really easy to wear. They are made of cotton, so if you wear them too much, they will get really saggy. They can get stained, and those are really the only cons of these shorts. Other than that, they come in a ton of colorways, and uh, they're pretty good. Next up, we have a pair of shorts from Aleek's Nike. This is a also kind of accessible pair of shorts. They're around the $100 to $200 range. Made of polyester material, and they have a camo pattern on them. They have the magnetic buckle on them. Also, the pockets are zipper pockets. My gripe about these is that the fabric is just really flowy, so if you like kind of like a flowy short, you like these. They just kind of look lifeless, kind of small, uh, even though they're very wide. For what they are, they're worth the money. I don't wear them that much because of the material. Moving it up to another Alix Nike short, we have the Alix Nike pocket short. These, like those shorts, are well made, but they don't suffer the same problem. They have a thick, robust material. They have tons of places to store your stuff, but my gripe of these are they're too expensive, and the fit of them is a little bit basic. They're kind of sporty. They kind of have papered legs almost. These are cool, worth the money, absolutely not. Nice short though. In the last video, I just recently got these. These are the Fall Winter 14 Moody Boxing Shorts. Have the super tall waistband. They have the side paneling. Just a really nice cotton nylon blended fabric. These are really wide. They have a really unique cool shape. They're just insanely comfortable, insanely wearable. These are my favorite shorts I own. The final short, I'm not gonna fully show you them because they're not done. I have a pair of nylon shorts coming. To me, hits all the boxes and uh, is one of the best shorts. They're coming soon. I wanted to show them. For the next video, we're gonna be reviewing fits. So if you guys wanna submit a fit, send it to this email. Spread the word. We're gonna review all the fits. Not all of them, but a good bit of them. I'll leave the email in the description as well. Other than that, these are uh, my shorts that I wear. I've had a lot of pairs. Summer essentials. Let me know in the comments what you guys are going to be wearing for summer, but uh, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I love you. Peace out. Take care.